Hi, today I want to show you how you can edit a video using a free software called DaVinci Resolve 16. Many of the video editors they use some other applications that they will cost you money. Some of them say Adobe Premiere Pro, Adobe After Effects, Final Cut and many others cinema 3d so but now today i want to show you how we can create a video a very simple video using a free software you don't need any money to pay it but it will give you a very good results so the software you're talking about is called davinci resolve so when you open the software and you can get the download link in the description below is completely free however they have their paid their paid uh, pro version but you can still use this one it will give you the best results anyway if you are using you want to create youtube videos i don't think you'll need professional software it will give you the whole thing that you need for you to create a simple video so when you open the davinci this what will appear so first let us create our project by going to file new project give your project a name let's call it demo demo pro demo project click create okay already exists so i can give it a different name demo hyphen ppr create so here we go boom so our project has been created now let us add media files to our project timeline so at the top left corner you will find this section called media pool this on, on the media pool tab so let us create let us add our footage so go to your computer select the media files that you want to import select them you select those ones once you're done drag and drop in the vinci media pool section here we go we give it a few seconds load once it's fin it's done now we can start creating our video let's start now so before i start doing the creating the video la, let me introduce to you the workspace so at the bottom here we have these two tabs the current selected one is called cut and then you have the other one called edit so uh, if you have used to premiere pro when you click on this workspace edit it will have an interface similar to the one for premiere where we have this uh, x and y axis the top represents video bottom represents audio so and we also have a, a window for preview and another window for live so that's how we will work with it i love working with that workspace the edit mode so let's kind of start now uh if you want to add a footage on the timeline first you can double click and then you review you view it i just reduce the volume so that it, it will not hurt our ears so this is our video so you can try playing playing so this is our video let me just uh, demonstrate one thing even before i start editing uh, let me demonstrate on how you can regulate the audio of this file sorry so for you to drag your video to the timeline just left click and drag it to your timeline then adjust so that have what i've done here i have dragged the entire video to my timeline so you can see how it plays i can increase the volume a little bit so that's how my video that's how my video is but now the the, the audio is too loud if, if i increase my volume here you will see the audio is loud so how can i normalize the audio so we have two ways let me show the first one first method you you go to inspector and then you select your audio you want to adjust uh, so when you click on audio you can reduce the audio volume so when you play so you can see i have read the audio so you can you can play around with that 
to reduce it you can also click on mixer so that you can see where is your audio level so when you see if it's uh, below 30 which is too it's not loud so i can increase it so that i can bring the levels to be above to be at least 10 so i can do that another way so you can increase one by one as you check the levels here this one is, a little, this one is better now because as i can see my audio one track which is audio one this one here which is here is at negative one de decibel full scale so uh, the audio is okay it's okay so i think there is okay you can also open if you want to be left to be right the tempo uh, okay yeah. ah, that's the reset now oh, that's the, that was just an illustration how to adjust your audios so let's now start creating their video so uh, assuming now this is your this video is your intro intro video so we'll double click it again this is your intro video but i will not put all of it and i just want to to trim a small portion of it so i want to stream at the start so i will click play so for you to trim uh you will press i i is for trimming in and o for trimming out so where you want to start you press i and where you want to end you press o hope i'm clear so then play the video by pressing the space bar on my keyboard and then i will time it press i so I have pressed I and O so that because I want only this small portion if you, if you can see this these two dots that's the only portion I want and now I want to put that onto my timeline you see yeah this is the timeline yes this is the timeline so uh, we have two options here we have option one is for video only option two is audio only and now how can i drag both i want the audio and the video all, all together so how can i do that yes it's easy so what you do you can just drag and from the top place it to your timeline and then uh, let me zoom in this timeline let me drag it to the start okay i can now zoom in now so this is our video it starts from there and ends at there now there's another way because i i want this this audio to fade oh, before i go there let's now create another one that's great so I will go to my media pool. Let me reduce this one like that. <coughs> I want to add now my second video. Assuming this uh, this one was your introduction, I want to add my second video. Say this is my second video. Is someone now uh, after the song will have someone coming in? Okay. So I, I will click i will press i to trim in and I'll scroll up to there press o ah, up to here press o so i only want that portion i will drag it and place it here so join to join them together and now play so good morning so this is our song good morning at the end of the song there is that but now the way the song the song just ends abruptly we need to add we need to add some crossfade effect to our first song our first clip audio so i will go to my crossfade which is found on the effect tab so when you click on the effect tab you will find this section here <coughs> this section has uh, audio transition and video transition so on audio transition i want the crossfade so i will select this crossfade and then i'll 
let me just drag this one below so that I can see it clearly and then I will press it I will place it there I will adjust it to start to start from there and then I can return that my audio to the top or oh, it'll just be like that so my audio will start will fade at the end and also fade at the beginning Good see, morning. I think that you can listen. Yes. Good morning. See now, that's a very good audio transition. And praise the Lord. My name is Asa. Now, so this is now the second person coming in, and you can see this. The, it's so plain. Good morning. So from here, you can now add an audio audio track to this clip. To this second clip, you can now add an audio track. So how do you do that? If you have uh, dragged your audio track on your uh, media pool, double click on it and then let us just uh, cut or trim from where I want it to start. So I will see where my web is. I want to start somewhere like there. Okay, so I will pause. I Yes, I want it to start from there up to there so once i have trimmed that portion just drag it and place it below so it will be the second layer of audio the second layer audio 2 as you can see it yes it's audio 2 so when i now play my clip you will see good morning this one ends good morning i can still even drag it to audio 3 so that it can start from there Good morning. Good morning. Praise the Lord. My name is Asamon. So, as I said, you can now see this audio track is too loud. It's too loud. When when I when I check at my mix mix here, if you will you will find that that audio is too loud as the, compared to the rest. So, this is my audio three. This one here. And praise the Lord. Yeah, it's, it's a bit loud so what you want to do you want to uh, to balance the two so one I can either select this one the this audio of the this video and go to inspector and increase it increase it a little bit like that praise the Lord my name is or I can click here and reduce it to negative three I'm a student artist. Yes, now we are done with that part. Let us continue creating our our project. So after this now, let's assume now this person now is inviting the second person. So we can also add another audio fed here when he ends. I can also add another audio fed here when the song ends. I guess to see you as a steward. Okay, we are good. Now, let us add now the second clip. So I will go to back to my clip and I want to add this one. So I want to add it when... Uh, let me see... I will play and then I will press I to trim in. And Greetings. Uh, I hope that you are doing well wherever you are. Uh, I am glad to be here and to share with you. Okay, so I only trim that portion and I need both, both audio and video. So I'll put it here, join it together like that, control C, so I can drag it this one down, the audio down, this video to come here, I want the audio to come down and join them together like that. So when this someone, this person finishes to speak, the next person will come in. Greetings. Uh, yes. As you can see. I to see you as a steward. Greetings. Uh, I hope that you're doing well wherever you Now, let's now add another final clip. Assuming now we have another clip. Like, see this one. Oh. This, this, this guy's here. Okay. So, I want to add this clip. So, I will press I. I want to trim there. And then. Uh, I scroll through, I play through, I want to trim it out at this moment, I press O, I trim it out, but because the audio is not good, I will only drag the video alone, 
so you only drag the video join this video with here and then i come to my audio track here and then i add this as an audio track below the video and then now there's something that i didn't tell you about it's about how to also you can trim videos here uh, on the timeline what i've shown you pressing i and o is when you are doing it on the preview window but now how can i do it on the timeline there's two ways one we can just place your cursor at the end of the your file your video file or your audio file and then just adjust yeah, up to there now I've, i have trimmed my audio to align with the video another way if if you feel this video is too long i'm feeling hey, this video is too long let me play yeah these people are dancing so that video is too long so how can i trim it so another way to trim this you can also adjust the way i've said you can adjust from the ends you can also adjust from the other side but now you can also use a blade a blade yes there's a tool called blade when you're using premiere it's called a razor tool razor tool blade so here i'm using blade so this is the tool here when you hover over that tool you say blade edit mode so you can you can use that tool and it has a shortcut so these two short this the most tool you'll be using the first tool and the fourth one so the first tool is selection tool yes selection tool and this one is the blade tool so you can press a to pick the selection tool press b to select the mode the blade tool and so when i click on the blade tool and then just click on the video or the audio file and then press a again to select the select tool and then click on that portion that i don't want then press delete on the keyboard that part is gone so i can also adjust my audio to that moment and then say just play this to oh. share with you now the final thing before i finish is now how to create uh how to add transitions so you see in between the videos we need to add transition say from this video to this person we need to add a transition so say i want in between here to have a transition because the way we had an audio transition we also need to have a video transition so let me zoom in and then below this audio transition we have video transition and there's any transition with uh, this pink or reddish color it means it's not active so then you can only pick the the ones that they don't have that sign so we have more we have titles um, of which you can explore more on how to use them today i'm not have not used a title so i will go to let me see let me see which one can i use noise dissolve okay motion push so let me just use a very simple transition let me use yeah deep to color dissolve yeah. let me see i want to use this one as a transition in between these two clips uh, okay it seems not working let me see if it can work let me try this one here yeah, this one seems to be working now so i can drag and place it there and i can it's too long so i can reduce it like that so when i play my video from there you see good morning you can see that blur good. you can you can even click and delete and then try another one say additive dissolve and then seem not to be working again okay i don't know why i don't know why it's not why it's not working and um, it's only it's only one working now so let me just use that one okay good morning you're good but it's too short why can i increase it uh -huh. good morning no it's too long so let me reduce it up to here yep good morning oh good now we have done our video now we can play through it and see we can play through the video and see now what we have created okay i had forgotten maybe you want to add uh you want to add uh, what what am i saying you want to add a lower third yes a lower third a lower third something like this no no it's something like this something like this so let me drag that it's my image which I created using Photoshop. So I'll just create and put it there. 
but mm, oh, now it's covering the whole face how can I reduce it oh and it's too long so I can use blade cut it click there click this portion delete click there I need to adjust this one so you select that lower third go to inspector then go to zoom I want to zoom it out yes that is okay oh no I can control that I think it's okay let me just move it downwards X it's okay why why axis move it downwards up to there boom now we are set so that's okay. all we are done we are done with that so now this is our video <laughs> Good morning and praise the Lord. My name is Asamon Morenia. I'm a student at KIST. I'm so sorry that KIST see you as a student. Greetings. I uh, hope that you're doing well wherever you are. Uh, I'm glad to be here and to share. Good. Sorry, we, we just for, we forgot to trim this, this audio here, this video audio. So you can just use a blade and trim it there and delete so that it will not continue playing along the timeline so i think we are done for today and uh, the purpose of this clip was not uh, i can also reduce it at this, po this point okay, so, so the purpose of this video was not to create a professional video but for beginners for someone want to create a very simple maybe facebook Insta, instagram or youtube video and you don't know how to start i can tell you this is the best way and simple you don't need a lot of money it's only free and free indeed so uh, thank you for watching this clip and uh, you can subscribe to my channel for more videos on how to use DaVinci. Thank you.